In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to apply a DACA cargo livery to my Airbus A320 in Minecraft. Now, if you guys don't already have this plane, no problem at all. I'll leave a link in the card above as well as the description to my tutorial on the Airbus A320 that you guys can go through. Now, if you guys are new to the channel at all, we're here to help you build bigger and better. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, let's get to it. All right then guys, so here we are on my flat tutorial world. Here is the livery we're going to be doing, the great DACA uh, cargo plane that we've got here. And we're gonna be converting our Air A380, okay? So first thing I'm gonna to need to do guys is the bottom of the plane is actually gonna be made up of polished deep slate slab, stair, and the polished deep slate block. So I'm gonna need you to replace the stone layer that you would have on the original. So every slab, replace that with a polished deep slate slab every block with a uh, polished deep state block and that also means that the center part right here when sorry not really center part but uh wherever you've got a lever make sure you replace the lever it's really easy just to knock these off but get all that done all right so once you've got the base of the plane all painted we're actually going to move over onto the engines now so for this what we're going to do is with our crimson stair first we're actually going to be replacing the polished diorite with crimson so that's our first step is to switch all of these bits out right here there we go got the crimson stairs there where we've got the trapdoors we're going to switch those out for crimson trapdoors that includes on the inside part of it as well so get those done including this one underneath there i'll get that in a second or well, try not to forget it at least um but there we go let's get these in here put that down there get these two on top get that one on the inside and then we're gonna have to target this one down here let's get that one done there nice then what we're going to do guys is we're going to have polished deep slate behind this for the bottom part of it so one two three of your stairs are going to be upside down polished deep slate stairs we're then going to have a polished deep slate slab replace that one and then underneath this we're going to go one two three the anvil will of course drop and place down a polished deep slate wall there i'm going to pick up an anvil and we're going to plonk this in here okay so we can then get that anvil and put that one back now i can pick up my polished deep slate wall now on to the inside of the engine right here we're actually going to have a crimson stair right here try not to knock that one down uh crimson stair there crimson stair there we're gonna have a never brick wall on the sides right here and now we can go on to the outside so we're going to have a crimson plank block then we're going to have a never brick wall then we're going to move on to a polished deep slate wall right here like that okay so quite a lot going on here but there we go so right here, crimson plank, never brick wall, then a polished deep slate wall. And then underneath here, we have those three upside down polished deep slate stairs, and then a polished deep slate slab right there like that. Then on top, we're gonna have crimson stairs. So two crimson stairs here. On the other side, one, two, three, put those stairs in there. And then finally, we're gonna have that crimson slab on top like that. Now what we are going to do guys is with our smooth stone slab we're going to replace these three right here with smooth stone on that bit there and then we can re-grab our crimson trapdoor like that as well okay so let's do the same on the other side now so if we start with the kind of around the front part of it we're going to do those warped stairs first just around the whole front of the engine piece on the inside i'm going to get that stair there and also a stair there i'm going to replace all these trap doors now so get rid of those, put those in here. And we're gonna have the warped trapdoors like this. Warped trapdoor there, warped trapdoor there, and on the outsides like this. Underneath, don't forget that one underneath either. There we go, we get that one in there. And of course this side, we'll do the exact same thing. So place those in there. On the inside of this, we're gonna need a, a never brick wall around the sides of those ones. Then if we do the inside one first, why not? We're gonna have three upside down polished deep slate uh, stairs and then a polished deep slate slab then underneath this we're going to go one two three with our blocks the anvil will fall i'm going to get a clean one because that one's now damaged and we're going to have three blocks of your polished deep slate underneath there like that and then we can get ourselves an anvil to replace that because otherwise we will forget believe me guys i've definitely forgotten in the past so there we go get those there all right, behind this now, we're going to have a block of crimson planks, a never brick wall, and then a polished deep slate wall there. 
Then onto the other side, we're going to go three upside down polished deep slate stairs, a polished deep slate slab. Next up, we're going to have that crimson plank, then a uh, never brick wall, then a polished deep slate wall like that. And then on the top, three crimson stairs, and then a crimson slab like that. And then on the top, one, two, and three of these are going to be your smooth slabs like that. And I've forgotten these two little slabs here. Sorry, not slabs, stairs on the side here, which are going to be crimson plank stairs like that. And that all oh, now looks good. Onto the wings now. What we're going to do is we're just going to need a crimson stair and also a crimson trapdoor. So just at the end, we're going to replace this stair here with the crimson stair. And then we're going to have crimson trapdoors in place of our iron trapdoors on the end, like that. Just those three there. Same on the other side. So we're going to place a crimson stair. And then we're going to have those three crimson trapdoors like that. Then what we're also going to do as well, we've got these trapdoors on these wings. We're going to replace these with crimson trapdoors. We're going to have two going out there, one on the top. Same down here, two there, one on top. Two there, one on top. And same with all of these now. Two there, one on top. Two there, one on top. And two there, one on top like that. Next, we're moving on to the writing part of it. Now, for this first, we're going to actually get rid of the windows because it is DACA cargo. We don't need that. So where have we got any of those uh, kind of smooth quartz windows? We're going to replace those with smooth quartz. When we've got the diorite, replace those with diorite and go all the way across each side of this here like that. So we're closing it all up because the uh, cargo planes don't need windows. Why would we need them? So there we go. Get rid of those. Uh, there we go. Let's do that there. There's two diorite, keep exactly the same. Then you got your smooth quartz at the back here and drag that all the way forwards like that. Now what I want you guys to do is grab yourself a polished deep slate block, a polished deep slate stair, and also a crimson stair. So very, you know, similar uh, color palette all the way through. Where we've got those two polished diorite blocks, you're going to be onto the one that's closest to the front. We're just going to do the right hand side first and then we'll do the left hand side. So do that first. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a polished deep slate in replacement of that polished diorite. On top of that, we're going to have a polished deep slate stair. Then we're going to have two crimson stairs. Leave a gap and we're going to go to a polished deep slate stair. We have three crimson stairs, one, two, three, like that. And we're also going to have another polished deep slate block down there like that. On the other side, we're going to do the opposite. So where we've got the, the end of that one right there, that's going to be the start of a polished deep slate stair and a deep slate block. And of course, this time we're going to have two crimson stairs on the side. Leave a gap. Then we're going to go and have our polished deep slate again and a polished deep slate block there. Then three crimson stair. One, two, three, like that. And that means that that... Uh, polished di diorite block stays in place. So that's how we end up doing that. So we've got the writing, DACA cargo on the side there, and DACA cargo on the side there as well. On to the tail piece now. Grab yourself a polished deep slate slab, deep slate sl stair, deep slate block. A uh, So that's polished again. Um, crimson stair, and also a purple terracotta, which is the main colours. This kind of like deep grey and also like a pinky purpley colour color mostly purpley really um what we're going to do for here is we're going to build our way up to the uh, tailpiece first so the actual vertical stabilizer and then we'll move our way down and connect it all up so right here the first block we're going to replace with a polished deep slate block we're going to have a polished deep slate slab on top then we're going to have a deep slate block then the stairs are going to be replaced with uh, deep slate stairs so build that all the way to the top here over the top we're going to have two deep slate slabs like that we're going to have two deep slate blocks underneath that. Then this stair that we've got here is going to be an upside down crimson stair. And we're going to have one purple terracotta block behind it. And then we're going to have a deep slate block behind that. Next, we're going to have a deep slate block with two purple terracotta blocks behind it like that. This upside down stair that we've got here is going to be a polished deep slate stair. We're then going to have two polished deep slate blocks behind that, one, two, then a purple terracotta block, then diagonal from this going towards the, the kind of tail part of it, we're going to go diagonal from that with a purple terracotta and then diagonal again, purple terracotta, 
And now what we can do is we can fill in these with our deep slate just to connect that all up like this. Okay. So that's what we end up getting this kind of flick at the back there like that. The stair that we've got, replace that with a, a deep slate stair. On the inside three of these, we're going to switch those out to deep slate. So there, there, and there like that. And also this block right here underneath that stair, we're going to replace that with polished deep slate as well. Then behind that, we're going to have one block of polished deep slate right here. I'm going to go diagonal. I'm going to have a, a deep slate block there. Underneath this, where we've got that slab, again, diagonal. So we're going to basically do the outline of this. So we've got block there, block there. Diagonal from this, we've got a slab. And right next to that, we're just going to have two blocks of our polished deep slate there like that. Now the rest of it underneath this is all going to be deep slate now. So we can just go in and replace these blocks, for example. We have deep slate, this slab, this block right here. These three slabs can all be replaced. The only bit is this end bit, we will keep that one being white. So we get that block there, we can place that in there, do three here. And we get the two slabs underneath like that. So we end up with this kind of piece there, and then it kind of wraps in and goes under and joins all the way up. So let's do the same on the other side right here. So we got those stairs, one, two, and three. So one, two, and three. Block of deep slate behind it. Diagonal from that, we're gonna have deep slate block. Underneath here, we've got the slab, we're gonna go one, got two blocks next to it as well like that and then everything else can be deep slated is going to be the new term for that so we can put in three here like that we've already done the middle part of it and then finally guys give yourself a debug stick so slash give your name and then minecraft colon debug stick and what we're going to do is we're going to smooth out some of these blocks in particular like these ones we're going to remove the up property. Now you might not be able to do this on your version of Minecraft, um, but you might also be able to, who knows? So I'm just gonna get rid of the up property on these ones right here first. I'm gonna do the same on the other side, just cause then we can cycle through everything quite easily. I'll show you why in a second, there we go. So we come back to these ones. What I wanna do is I wanna make this go forward. So for me, that direction right there is north. So I wanna go north and I wanna make that to tool and that then kind of smooths it out on each side. These back ones we've already smoothed out, but uh, something's gone wrong here, which seems to happen every time I paste this thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the west property completely and also the up property as well. So it's like a lower version like that coming to a point. And same thing has happened over here, so let's get rid of that. This time it's going to be east that we need to get rid of. There we go, like that. So let's go on to the inside now. And again, we need to move this north one to tool. Then on the front as well, we're going to do a similar thing here. So we've got that north one to tool. Yep. Um, got east to tool ready. Is that right? Yep. North, low. Oh no, maybe we did, did something else. I thought I was doing something completely different, but apparently not. Um, and then we're going to get that one's actually looking good. That one put up to tool. That to tool as well. That to tool. Get rid of the up on that one. Make these all tool like that. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. If you really enjoy my content, guys, make sure to check me out on Patreon. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching.